Do you guys remember Little House on the Prairie? It's a good show, right? You know, if you close your eyes, you can still see Laura Ingalls Wilder skipping down the sunny, flower-covered hill. Somewhere Pa is saddling a horse, and Ma is very kindly helping Mary learn with her Braille homework. Are your eyes still closed? Good. Keep imagining. Now imagine Laura hanging outside of Olson's Mercantile. She's 14 years old and seven months pregnant. She's changed smoking Misty 100s and just offered to give Laszlo a hand job if he could help her get her some, get her some moonshine. Not so sweet sounding now, is it? Well, America, that's what we're doing to our daughters. We're taking their innocence and youth in exchange for the chance to sell just a little bit more lip gloss. You see, preschoolers are being taught to imitate tweens, and they're imitating teenagers who are imitating 22-year-olds who don't know who the fuck to imitate anymore. <laughs> they used to be able to look up to their mothers, but even some of them are starting to imitate 19-year-olds. Doesn't help that half of Bravo's reality TV lineup features Botox middle-aged women trying to squeeze themselves into halter tops. It's not that I don't appreciate it, it's just kind of nasty. <laughs> it also doesn't help that marketers are setting up slumber parties just so they can sell six-year-olds makeup. Do you know what they call it when I set up a slumber party for six-year-olds? An arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are turning girls into a race of crazed Britney Spears clones. Stop. Think about what I just said. Britney Spears, only crazier. You know, it won't be long until little girls all across America are hopping out of their battery-operated Barbie Corvettes, waiting for the neighborhood boys to take a long enough break from playing with their Transformers just so they can take a few snapshots of their I-don't-need-a-Brazilian-wax-to-look-this-smooth-nether regions. <laughs> I mean, what are these kids supposed to do? They've got teenage pregnancy, eating disorders, Hannah Montana? <laughs> When are we gonna stop hurting our girls? Now call me old-fashioned, but I'm keeping my daughter in the basement. <laughs> now she might not get a lot of sun down there, but the way things are headed, that's going to be the least she'll have to worry about. And that, my friends, is why we're all fucked. Well, Matt, uh, <laughs> is, there, is there any, any good news coming out of that, that story? Easy 18-year-olds? <laughs> I will take that as a no. <laughs>